Hey everybody, so I always make these little videos whenever I find something that I want to do and I can't find a solution. So I got a water tank and well I got more than this but this is one of them and uh, rainwater that is and you know it comes down the gutter and I got it set up with a PVC pipe to go over there but um, I wanted to introduce some chlorine into the water. So And so I built these DIY floating chlorine dispensers that I shown in my other video and you could find these online as well that's just a soda bottle with some holes in it with a little vitamin jar inside to keep it floating and uh, that thing float and a rock at the bottom so that thing just floats right in your tank and disperses chlorine but it's too much for this water tank it's too much chlorine and so I can't leave that in there permanently after a few days it was too much I had to take it out so I want to have a solution that doesn't require me having to mess with it all the time. So I thought of another idea. How about an inline chlorinator? So that only when it rains, the chlorine goes into the water. And then when it doesn't rain, it doesn't. There it is. So this will go right in line there. I got to change that tube up there. That's two inch. I'm upgrading to three inch. I'll insert this somewhere in along the line. I've put a little block in there because the, um, so there's the three inch chlorine tab. I put it in the end cap of a three inch PVC. I drilled a little tiny hole, I'll explain in a second. And I put this little piece of half inch pipe, I glued it in there, it's nice and snug, but not snug enough to distort the size of the circle there. So this way, I can just stick this guy right in there like that. Now you got chlorine in there that will not escape. You put this in line like that, and when the rainwater comes, some of the water will go down here, mix around with the chlorine, and then eventually go back out and go into the tank. And I'll only get a little bit of chlorine when it rains, and then I won't get it when it stops raining. And the reason why I put this tiny little hole there is because I don't want water sitting in here messing up my chlorine tablet when when it's not raining. Uh, so after the rain stops, this thing will have water in it. Eventually, it'll just drip out, drip, drip, drip. You know, you're not going to miss that amount of water. That's nothing. That's just a tiny little drip uh, just to make sure all the water vacates this thing. And that's it. So I had thought of another way to do it too. Um, you could use the same idea where this end is inside the tank, right? This is at the end of the, the line, right? This is in the tank, right? You can cap this end off, right? You got to put a little piece of pipe in there. You cap this end off and then you get another cap, you put it in the bottom, and you drill a bunch of holes through it. A bunch of big holes, get like a one inch uh, drill bit, or whatever you want, just drill a whole bunch of holes and it, make sure you're not backing up your water. You could have the chlorine tablet sitting right, you know, sitting right in there like that, sitting right in there with this end capped off, and then the rainwater will you know, it'll come straight through here and, you know, mess around there, nothing, and then go straight down and it'll go right into your tank. Then in order to load it, you would have to come on this end, open this guy up and stick a new tablet down in there. Um, the way I did that PVC tube, you'd have to change it. Uh, you take that out because I don't think it would come up, but you could figure it out. Um, so those are the two ways to do it. But at the end of the day, I'm opting to put this in line because I have some big water tanks and I don't want to have to climb up there every time and then look in the hole and mess with it all the way at the end. So I'm going to put this in line where I have easier access to it. And uh, yeah. So the only thing you got to watch out is the tightness of this, right? Because that could be a, a pain, you know, you're trying to unscrew it and... Um, you know, maybe you put it on too strong, whatever. So there could be a little adjustment there. Maybe you want to put some kind of wire here or hold it on or something, some other 
possible method to help hold it on so you don't have to push it on so tight. Um, but that could be figured out later. But obviously you definitely don't want to glue, definitely don't want to glue that part. So anyway, I hope this video was helpful and let me know in the comments below if you think that this is good for you, if you can use it. Thanks a lot. Okay, so here's the new pipe installed. Three inch pipe. There's the filter placement thing. I got the cap with the thing in my hand. And that's how easy it is to put that guy on there. And bada bing, bada boom. Inline chlorinator from the ring.